This is the second of our five tutorials which culminates in us making a notepad application. This will be a very short one where we show how we can save the text from a text edit window. This is what we had at the end of our last tutorial. We're just going to adjust this so that um, it will save the file instead. So the first thing I'm going to do, although you don't need to, is change the name of the button to save. And I'm also going to change the name of the function to save text. And all we've really got to do is change what goes on in here. Now this is appropriate whether we do it with in PyQt or we just do it in Python as normal. This really isn't a PyQt um, operation, but it certainly is um, going to be helpful for what we do. So. Um, with open and what I want to do is this one we're going to do better things when we use the um, Q file dialog I'm just going to save our file within the same directory at the moment as the writer.py um, but um, and I'm going to call it test.txt but you'll see in the next lesson that we'll do things a little bit more sophisticated than this so with that open file as f, oops, full colon required, um, we're going to first of all get our text from the widget. So my text equals um, self dot text dot, and I don't want clear this time. I want to um, plain text. So that will get what we want, and then I want to um, f dot write my text, and all that's going to do now is it opens a file um, in the same directory, and it's going to call it test dot text, and then it's going to take the text here from within the widget, and it's going to write it to there, and then we finish because we've done it with this with. It's going to automatically close. That's it. Let's see that work. So once, whoops, once upon a time, and then I'm going to click on save. Now you don't see much happening. If I click in here, it's going to be in this bit here. If I click here, there we go, we've seen it come up, and there you go, once upon a time. And if I bring the file back, I can change that. There was a big fat cat, don't even say big, but never mind, save that one, and it's not changed here, but if I actually double click on that one there, it comes up, big fat cat, and that's it. In our next tutorial, we'll introduce the file dialog, or the Q file dialog, which will do things in a much more elegant way. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, think about subscribing. I've included a link to the code that I've used in the video below in the description. Stay in Infield with Winfield.